So this is a story about how a sculptor called Ethos found her voice and began to sing to the city. Her name is from the Greek and it means the spirit of the community. In 2005, the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom was having its 90th birthday and a chorus of women was invited to uh, present a history of Wilf and uh, we decided that we would focus that around the sculpture of Ethos. And uh, I asked Tom, Tom Bass, the sculptor of Ethos, who was then in his 90th year, whether after all the years that Ethos had stood there silently, she might now have something to say to the people. And Tom said, we'll see, <laughs> in his nice deep voice and then I didn't hear anything for a few days. One morning he rang me and he was very excited because Ethos had woken him from a dream at 4.30 in the morning and she was speaking to him in the dream and he said he kept hearing her voice uh, for quite some time after he got out of bed and found something to write down what she was saying with. And a year or so later, I set it to music. Ethos is actually the image that can bring alive each and everyone's best capacities and uh, ability to creatively participate in the community. So that's why she's so important. Yeah. She, she's also important, I think, um, as a public artwork in Australia because she is at the centre of the capital and she is a beautiful, elegant, dignified, feminine image. And of course she's a woman and so utterly different and more than the many images at the centre of Australia's towns and cities of the sacrificed hero, the soldier, the Australian digger, who was killed overseas in uh, conflicts, in wars. Ethos, in contrast to that, is generative. You see her arms lifted above her head to the sun. She gives of herself in this feminine way, which is really so uh, significant an image for Australia mm. as we think about the challenges that are ahead that we must meet and in which the image of the sacrificed hero cannot help us.